so finally you have realized that to represent uh, sign numbers you require some representation the best representation is two's complement representation and in two's complement representation addition and subtraction is almost like addition right so and especially that addition is also like unsigned number addition correct if you know how to do unsigned number addition in the same way we can do for two's complement also not a big deal so finally we see how to do unsigned number addition okay further we are going to design a circuit that will work for two's complement also so for that first of all we start with the fundamentals one is half adder that means how to add two bits because finally we are going to add multiple bits right 32 bits generally in uh, real world computers there will be 32 bit uh, circuits that means they take 32 bit arguments 32 bit integers otherwise 64 bit so to understand that 32 bit addition first of all you understand one bit addition because that 32 bit addition circuits also uh, uh, are going to be extensions of this half adders so first we start with half adder which is going to add two bits so first we'll see the expectation when you have two bits the patterns are 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 anything so whatever the input is given we have to give the right output the right output is this one see 0 plus 0 0 i'm talking about addition 0 plus 0 0 1 plus 0 1 0 plus 1 1 right so 1 plus 1 is 2 actually correct so 2 means 0 here 1 here correct so this is called carry for that we now we have to design a circuit so first of all we you know realize the truth table so when x is 0 y is 0 sum should be 0 i am using two parameters one is sum variable second one carry variable sum represents sum and carry represents this carry okay so carry is only here in the last one right carry one in all other places carry is 0 now when in other places sum is see 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 0 1 and 1 plus 1 0 see these values so let me erase this now further we have to design a circuit the technique is very simple first of all realize the formula for that expression what is the expression for your sum see here this one and this one is one right so the circuit for sum depends on this equation so that equation for that sum is see when is one when x is zero y one that is x bar y okay plus this one one zero x y bar correct so x bar and y otherwise x and y bar so otherwise or r means plus we know that right so x bar y plus x y bar is a circ, uh, equation for sum and equation for carry if you see carry should be 1 when x is 1 and y is 1 so x is 1 and y is 1 in digital x and y is nothing but x dot y correct so finally we got equation for sum and carry once you have equation then we have to you know design the circuit so how to design a circuit x bar y plus x y bar is nothing but called x x r y right so this is x r so between x comma y we have to apply a gate called x r gate okay let me apply x r gate so this is x this is y this is x x r y you are going to get x x r y so this is the circuit for sum right done now we need a circuit for carry for that simply take x and y so attach that cables to AND gate so then you are going to get x dot y so this entire thing is called half adder that's it okay x x r y x dot y so carry and sum now we'll see full adder to understand full adder uh, one thing is we are going to add three bits if you add two bits then that is called half adding so now we are going to do full addition so full addition generally require three bits okay when you have three bits then when you add them that is called full addition for that we are going to create a circuit called full adder first of all we'll see when you have three bits when you have three bits they are 0 0 0 0 0 1 so all possibilities 0 1 0 0 1 1 okay so rather than here now directly i show here you have three inputs x comma y comma z and i am going to add them so when you add them you get sum and carry the possibilities for inputs 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 okay so here tell me sum when you have three bits 0 0 0 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 0 0 sum is 0 carry is also 0 so let me write sum first 
then 0 0 1 so when you have 0 0 1 you are going to get some 1 carry 0 right next 0 1 0 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 0 1 sum is 1 carry 0 0 plus 1 plus 1 so 0 plus 1 plus 1 is 0 isn't it see 1 plus 1 0 sum carry will be 1 right so carry is 1 sum is 0 let me fill all these values 1 plus 0 plus 0 1 and carry will be 0 now we are here 1 0 1 sum is 0 let me write 0 1 1 and 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 right so 0 double 1 sum is 0 carry is going to be 1 when you have 1 plus 0 plus 0 sum is 1 carry 0 1 plus 1 there is a carry 1 but sum is 0 1 plus 1 again there is a carry but sum is 0 when you have triple 1 1 plus 1 0 0 plus 1 plus 1 actually 2 2 plus 1 3 so 3 means 1 is sum and carry is 1 right so that's why 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 3 can be represented in binary 1 1 so that 1 is called carry that's easy to understand correct once you have these values then we have to realize the equation what is the equation for sum if you see this bit this bit this bit and this bit okay so if you understand that it would be x bar y bar z isn't it x bar y bar z plus this one 0 1 0 x bar y z bar plus this one 1 0 0 x y bar z bar okay fourth one x y z fine so you can't simplify it it will not be simplified okay remember it so this is also known as x x r y x r z if you have doubt just apply this xr operation x x r y x y bar plus x bar y okay unit x r z then we have to apply again xr operation when you have a and b what is a x r b a x r b is nothing but a b bar plus a bar b let us apply this formula a b bar plus a bar b what is a first x y bar plus x bar y into b bar b bar is what here b is z into z bar plus this time a bar a bar is nothing but x y bar plus x bar y whole bar into this time b correct a bar b b is z now if i simplify you get here x y bar z bar plus x bar y z bar plus x y bar z plus sorry here there is a complement right when you have a complement a plus b whole bar a bar into b bar a bar a bar is here x y bar whole bar so x y bar whole bar into x bar y whole bar x bar y whole bar so a plus b whole bar is a bar into b bar a bar into b bar into z let me simplify this part first x y bar whole bar is nothing but x bar plus y into x bar y whole bar is x plus y bar into z see again here x bar plus y into x plus y bar if i do first x into x bar 0 x into y x y plus y bar into y 0 plus y bar into x bar x bar y bar you get x y plus x bar y bar into z then what happens it would be x y z plus x bar y bar z let me replace here so this entire part would be x y z plus x bar y bar z now you see x y bar z bar plus this one is x bar actually this is x bar y z bar x bar y z bar plus x y z plus x bar y bar z bar see here bar is for y z here bar is for x z here bar is for x y correct so here also same thing x bar y bar z x bar z bar y y bar z bar x plus x y z equivalent that's why so here directly i write x x r y x r z that is about
sum. Now, what is carry? Let's realize it. Carry is when you know yz is one, xz is one. So we have four carries. So we have four ones here. One represents yz, and this one xz, right? And this one is xy plus this one xyz. So xy plus xyz. If you simplify xy into one plus z, one plus z is one. Then you get xy here. So it would be yz plus xz plus xy. Thus, that will be xy plus yz plus xz. So if I write a circuit, that would be like this: xy and yz here. X gate here, AND gates. So take three AND gates and connect them to R gate. You get X Y plus Y Z plus X Z. This is for carry. Now for sum, X X R Y X R Z. Take X Y, apply X R gate. Okay. So this is a logic diagram. X X R Y. Then take Z. Take x x r by result and apply x r here. Okay, so you get x x r y x r z. That's it. So this is about some uh, full adder circuits realization. Correct. So this is for sum. This is for carry. Right. Now finally you understood how to sum three bits and two bits. Right. Now using these full adders, we are going to construct. You know, uh, a adder for multiple bits. So far, we have seen just, you know, a single column, right? That means when given three inputs like this, how to add? For that, we can use full adder. Just we have realized. But what if you have multiple, you know, bits like this? Generally, that is what we will have. So one plus one here. After that, addition here. After that, addition. That's why. So lot of full adders we can use, and we can realize that concept. Okay. So we will be doing that.